How's it going guys? I'm Adam Dice and I'm here to tell you why you need a sales funnel. Today we're going to be talking about one of your greatest secret weapons when it comes to marketing and sales. Storytelling. So grab your popcorn and huddle around the campfire because I have a whale of a tale to tell. Or something like that. So have you ever stopped and wondered why we love movies and novels so much? It's for the stories, right? I mean, sure, there are exceptions, the CGI spectacles where the animators told the writers to take the day off, like those god-awful Transformer movies. I'm looking at you, Michael Bay. And of course, you have those romance novels where it's all about getting to the juicy bits. You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones you read for the articles. Other than that, it's for the stories. You see, we humans are emotional creatures. Our emotions direct our attention and they drive our habits. We like to do things that make us feel good and we like to hear stories that make us feel connected. We like stories that we can identify with. Some of us even like stories that terrify us or appeal to our morbid sense of curiosity. Otherwise, horror movies wouldn't be a thing. Can you imagine a world without Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees? That's like two thirds of my childhood. So what does this have to do with sales funnels? Well, when you're trying to sell a product or a service, one of the best ways to connect with your prospects is to tell them a story. Now it can be your story or it can be someone else's story, as long as it's a story that they can connect with. And you'll want that connection to spark a strong emotional response, either positive or negative. For instance, if you're trying to sell a health product, you may want to paint a picture of what their new healthy life could be like. And you could do that by telling your story of how you used to have the same illnesses and problems that they currently have, and what made you take the next steps to being healthier and how your product helped you do that. This would be a positive emotional response. You're trying to make them feel confident that your product is gonna make them feel better and that if you can do it, they can do it too. But what if you wanted to invoke a negative response? First of all, why would you wanna do that? What, are you a monster? Well, since you asked, you can always employ the old FOMO tactic, you know, fear of missing out, or FOTAC, FOTAC, whatever the fear of the consequences. This is when you paint a picture of what's gonna happen if they don't take action. Now the classic example of this is the Don't Be Like Dave ads, where they show you all the dumb things that Dave does and all the pains that he has in his life. You don't wanna be like Dave, right? Now invoking this fear of not taking action can be just as powerful. It's all about the tone that you wanna set with your narrative. Another thing that storytelling can do is it can help you build a connection and trust with your prospects. Again, we are emotional creatures. We act on emotion more than we do logic. This is the difference between buying a cheaper product from a big box store versus the same product at a higher price from a store downtown from someone that you know and you trust. So how can you apply this to a sales funnel? You have to figure out ways to add elements of your story to every piece of your sales funnel from start to finish. Starting with your ads. There's a saying in script writing that it's always good to start right in the middle of the action. Here's a few example headlines. I lost 25 pounds in one month by using this one simple method. My business was failing and I turned it all around by doing this one thing each day. These headlines go straight to the core of your story. Then you can follow it up on your landing page with some ad copy and some video content. You've hooked them now, now you have to give them some backstory and some context to those headlines. Then finally reveal the product or service that made the change in your life. I'm just going to stop right here. I need to tell a joke or something. I wrote this one way too serious for some reason, and I gotta find some jokes to put in there. I got a story for you. Why did the chicken, wait, no, it's not a chicken. Why did the duck cross the road? Because it thought it was a chicken. It grew up its entire life thinking it was a chicken. This is a terrible joke. Okay, moving on. If you wait to the end, there'll be jokes at the end, so I apologize for all the seriousness. Now you can continue telling your story even after they made that initial purchase so that you can send them up your value ladder. And I've talked about value ladders in a different video, so go watch that one after this one. Now, if you'd like to learn more about telling your story within a sales funnel, I recommend Russell Brunson's book, Expert Secrets. And you can get a free copy of this book by clicking on the link in the description. And you do have to pay some shipping. It's only like seven bucks, but that's as cheap as a romance novel. I'm guessing. I've never bought one. Thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something, or at least this got you thinking in a new direction. Please support me by liking this video and hitting the subscribe button. As always, I have new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays, so if you hit that notification bell, you will be notified when new videos are published. Also, be sure to check out my free report on the top five things that you should know about sales funnels by going to ynasf.com. There is a link in the description. If you have any questions or comments or topics that you'd like me to cover, please comment below. 
Until next time, stay focused and stay vigilant. So grab your popcorn and huddle around the, cr the cramp fire because you got cramps. I mean, sure, there are exceptions like those CG expectacles. Expectacles. <laughs> I like my expectacles. You see, we humans are emotional creatures. Our emotions direct our attention and they drive our habits. Otherwise, horror movies wouldn't be a thing. I mean, could you imagine a world without Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees? Voorhees? Voorhees. That's Jason Voorhees. That's a lot of stories. That's like 50 stories. Really? I don't know how many it is. It's a lot. That's pretty damn good. That's a, that's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. Hey! <coughs> Hey! That's gonna be a thumbnail. Moving on. Now you can continue telling your story even after they made a purchase as as blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. Okay. There will be jokes at the end. I promise. It'll be a dumb joke, but I promise there's a joke at the end. Be sure to check out my free report on the top five things that you should know. Is it five? It is five. Okay. Okay, I promised a joke. Here it is. There was a magician that was walking down the street and then he turned into a supermarket.